بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد ويا فاتنة الله سبحانه وتعالى has granted us this iman and deen which has the solution for all the problems of humanity till the day of qiyama in this world and the year after Amongst the solutions which Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has advised us in the riwayat of Abu Huraira radiyallahu an fi al-habbati al-sawda shifa min kulli da illa sam in the black sea there is a cure for all illnesses except death in another riwayat with regards to these black seeds shifa min kulli da illa sam قلت وما السام قال الموت besides death it is a cure and a remedy for all illnesses recently with regards to the covid dr sala muhammad from the department of clinical biochemistry in madina munawwara found a combination between black seed honey chamomile as prescribed a remedy in the effect of treatment for covid so even archaeological evidence shown that in the ancient egypt they used to cultivate the black seed and even to to come and stoom we look at the yunani ayurvedic siddha all the herbal alternate medicine treatments then it is very highly ranked with regards to physical health in a narration of khalid ibn sa'd he said we went out with ghalib ibn abjar and he fell sick and root we came to madin munawara while he was ill ibn abi atik visited him and said that you should be using the black seed take five seven seeds crush them drop them into his nose with a few drops of oil on either side why i heard aisha radiyallahu anha say that nabi ali sallam had said that it is a shifa for all diseases it's a means of cure healing except death ibn hajar asqalani rahmatullahi with regarding to this narration as explained and said that the meaning of the black seed of having the healing properties for all diseases it is not necessary to be used on its own for every disease we will not classify that it is a cure for every disease but rather it may be used on its own or it may be used with other things or it may be used with a combination of things or otherwise it can be used with food it can be used with drink it can be used however is needed whichever methodology a person feels to use it whether in nose drops but every disease means that every disease is treatable with it then abu bakr ibn al arabi rahmatullah alayhi yusay al asl inda al ittiba aqrab ila ay yakuna dawa min kulli da according to the doctors honey is more likely to be healing for every disease than black seed yet there are some diseases in which if a person were to drink honey he would be harmed therefore what is meant here in honey there is a healing for mankind shifa ulin nas what is referring to in most cases and not all cases similarly fa hamlul habba as sauda ala dhalika aula so when we consider the black seed we will take the similar meaning and this will be more appropriate sheikh abu muhammad ibn abi hamza afalla used to say that wa radduhu ila qawli ahli at-tibb wa at-tajruba when narrating this hadith and interpreting it then when people comment they say that doctors of those experience in the light in the comments of doctors and those with experience so he says that 
there is no doubt that this statement is mistaken and it is not correct. Because if we say and refer to doctors whose knowledge in most cases is based on experience, which is founded on their opinion, on their thought processes, then then if we are ready to believe the worldly people who are relying on worldly sciences and intellect, then we are liable and more appropriate to accept the words of Rahmatul Lil Alameen Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who never spoke from his own opinion but spoke through Wahi. He has mentioned all of this in Fatul Bari. So it has been named Habbatul Baraka, the seed of blessing. It has been affiliated to the black bondswoman who served Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, whose name was Baraka, radiyallahu anha. And Al also in Arabic shows taqsis, to show speciality, to show its blessings and importance. And she was a sahabiya, who was known as Umm Ayman. And she was the nurse of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And she used the black seed to treat ill people, sickly people based in, on the advices of Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. The origin of the black seed, researchers say there are more than 20 species which are found worldwide. But the famous species which is used medicinally is one, the cultivated black seed which is called Nigella sativa, which is also known as Indian cumin or black cumin or Indian cumin. In the English uh, vocabulary, they call it the common fennel. Then the second one is wild black seed, or better known as scientifically Nigella avensis, which in English it is known as the small fennel. And then we get the Syrian or Damascene black seed, Nigella damascena, which is also called the Turkish sina, or in English, wild fennel. So it's a herb which is cultivated, used in food, uh, it grows in woodland areas, grown in the Mediterranean, Asian Minor, Iran, Central Asia. Uh, it was uh, cultivated in India, and then the Arabs transferred it on their travels to Africa, Nigeria, Ethiopia. You find it greatly in Syria, Palestine, Southern Europe. And uh, it is a seed which Many people, if we do not know the origins and the details, then there is a fake black seed as well. So we have to be particular from the source where we buy it from and make sure that they are from authentic sources. It has many benefits being used in many avenues from headaches to migraines. Ibn Sina used to prescribe it for people that get headaches, migraines, for paralysis of facial nerves, cataract. Um, he recommended it to be crushed, mixed with honey, drunk with what, hot water. And that would also help in curing and relieving people who have kidney stones, bladder stones, who are diuretic. He used to prescribe it to use as nose drops to include it in vinegar and treat headaches and migraines, cold sicknesses. Ibn Qayyim also has recommended for nursing mothers to increase the milk and aphrodisiac and can regulate the menstrual cycle as well. In the olden days, the Arabs used it, they used it with raisins for strength of the body, for eliminating the face. Uh, they would extract the oil and uh, join it with chamomile flowers, with honey. And it was for stomach ache, bowel pains. Researchers in the Soviet Union in Uzbek show that it has a lot of properties to aid in uh, use it as a mouthwash to soothe toothache, a stomach disease, stomach ache as a laxative, relieve gas, and. Uh, Mixing it with vinegar gets rid of worms, especially tapeworms. 
And their research shows it's very optimal in the common cold flu throat infections and which are known symptoms for COVID recently. Then German researchers have confirmed its diuretic effect, increase in bile, milk, and uh, effects on menstruation as well. Even the products from the plant increases uh, muscular contractions, chronotopic effects, it decreases the heart rate, slows down the heart rate. It has an effect of a tranquilizer, so people who go into stress a lot, to calm them down, to improve their composure. So, Whichever method we use, obviously, one is just taking it orally, then using the oil, nasal passages, or using the steam. Different methods have been recommended. There was an Egyptian researcher, al Dakha Khani, and they studied the effects of uh, the black seed. And after five years of research, the Faculty of Pharmacy in the University of Alexandria, which happened around 1960. And uh, they found it very beneficial for people who have allergies and seizures, also in asthma. So they took some tests, and the results of the test showed that people who even suffered from severe asthma they took uh, a group of patients from the age of 5 to 40 years, 5 months to 40, between 14 and 65 years, and they were treated with this. And many patients improved noticeably, where some of them even stopped taking medication. So for asthma, for seizures, people who have epilepsy, their research shows that it is beneficial. Then people who have high blood pressure, Professor Rabi al-Zawahiri, Ainu Sham School of Medicine, his research showed that the black seed reduced blood pressure. Then germs, bacteria, so Dr. Junaid, who did research on this area, found that it warded off germs, bacteria, and it prevented their growth. And then with regards to immunity and the immune system, which is one of the most important defense systems in the human body, fighting germs, viruses, diseases, even cancer. So, now recently to treat, to regulate, because obviously the immune system through HIV gets reduced. So for HIV, AIDS, cancer, the black seed has been used. Dr. Ahmed Al-Qadi, the Akbar Clinic and Research Institute in Springfield, Florida, he also carried research on the black seed and found that it plays an important role in strengthening the immune system in the human body and it protects against germs and either, uh, other biological factors which could be detrimental to the human body. So nowadays it's quite easy, you just buy the capsule, it's already been crushed, whether it's in the powder form or the liquid form, the liquid form is more highly potent. We try to see the milligrams, so we know how potent it is. Then, even in the research, they found that uh, the lymphatic system and uh, other processes in the human body, because it's killing the bacteria, it drains all the toxins. So, energizing the body, energizing the immune system, healing infectious viral diseases, strengthening the body's self-defense mechanism. Even people who suffer from external skin diseases, eczema, they found that after using this as a treatment, it was a 
beneficial for eczema, chronic eczema, skin disease. Then people who are suffering from impotency, it boosts as well. So whether you use it in your food, your breads, pastries, as essential ingredients or other ingredients, but we can grind them and put them in the food or we can decide if we want to, just consume it generally like that. So Allah has made it very possible nowadays that this is the, the ready-made era where everything becomes, gets ready instantly. So unfortunate is a person who has access to all these medicines, treatments, herbal alternate medicines and we still don't use it. Then they found its antifungal activity. So candida, whether it's uh, in the digestive system, in the liver, in the spleen, in the kidney, they found it is very effective in treating candida. Then anti-schistosomiasis activity. So NSO, which is uh, basically schisto, uh, schistosoma, liver damage, uh, it assists in that, so whether a person has dead ova or adult worms, parasites, egg-laying female parasites, it's very effective in killing all of that. Then hepatoprotective activity, so that prevents the liver from being damaged, it strengthens your liver and protects the hepatic tissue from the effects of these toxic metals. Then cardiovascular activity. So it reduces the systolic blood pressure. So anybody has cardiovascular issues, it assists as well. Then nephroprotective activity from the kidney protects the harms of the kidney. Then pulmonary protective activity, anti-asthmatic effects. So ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. So this is a, a lung a infection disease, life-threatening, which causes hypoxia and it can harm the lungs. Uh, so the level of oxygen in the body and the blood becomes so low that a person has to be put onto the ventilator. So that's why recently for COVID again, uh, it has been proven to be effective. Then from the asthma, whether it's nocturnal asthma, exercise induced asthma, or just uh, allergic asthma, seasonal asthma, it can be used to treat that as well. Then neuropharmacological activities. So a person's learning is increased, their memory is increased, a person's got a lot of anxiety, it uh, eliminates that anxiety. Then it is an anticonvulsant. So a person who has discussed previously seizures, epilepsy, uh, beneficial anti-fertility, it an, is an antioxidant, so it neutralizes all the harmful radicals that damage the cell, it uh, lowers cholesterol, it has cancer fighting properties, it uh, alleviates inflammation, it uh, also is an anti-diabetic, so a person who's got sugar, diabetes, high blood sugar, these are all topics that need a lot of detail and time. The point is that these are Tibbe Nabawi and Nabi Alayhi Salam has prescribed it. Let us make sure we take benefit. The amal for today is to protect the tongue and the private parts. May yadman li ma bayna. Lahyayhi wa ma bayna rijlayhi adman lahul jannah. Nabi Islam guarantees jannah for a person who protects 
these two. Wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.